Hello, this is Jacqueline with Creative Paper Crafting with Jackie. How are you this uh, Sunday? And it's a beautiful day here in Indiana, Southern Indiana. I hope you're doing okay. Today we are going to make a trifold card. I thought we'd do something a little different. So I'm just trying to bring up my phone so that I can see your messages. I'm not sure. Um, it's hard for me to tell if my live is on or not. <laughs> there we go. I can see it. All right, because I want to make sure I stay in frame. Okay, so this is Military Girl by Paper Nest Dolls, and I have um, a couple of other images, and we're going to make a trifold card today. And I'll show you, I'll kind of explain how I did the trifold card. All right, so we're going to start, and I'm actually going to start with her outfit first. <clears throat> so what I did, let me get my colors out, and I used Copics this time. Sometimes I use my illustrators and sometimes I use Copics. So I'm using E51, and let me see, let me grab one more, E42. Okay, so this is E, oh, that's not E51. <laughs> oh. oh, good thing I caught that, that was a good catch. Make sure that I have the right pins out, right marker out here. I often put my wrong lid. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So this is E11, E11, and this is E42. And I'm looking for one more marker. Um, gosh, I hope I didn't leave it upstairs. All right, and then we'll get started. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, here we go. I found it. Okay. So this is E51. So we'll get the right lids on the right markers so that I, before we start. So how's everybody doing today? Is everybody doing good? I am really bad about putting the wrong lid on my markers. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take my E51. And this is Military Girl. And I'm going to just kind of turn her just a little bit. I meant to bring down a picture because I was in the military, in the Army. And I meant to bring down a picture to show you. And then I forgot and left it upstairs. All right, so I'm just kind of doing the edges. Just like I normally would. And then we'll do her uniform. And she has on BDUs. So she's camouflaged. <clears throat> so what I did is I took a variety of colors. So this is YG03, and I just kind of went in sporadically and colored. Of course, this is, um, some people would call it camouflage. And this is her BDUs, her fatigues. And so you can have them be, if you're going to be in the desert, they're going to be sand colored. If you're not in the desert, you're going to have green. Kind of depends where you're stationed. And the same thing with your boots. Depends where you're stationed. You might have black. You could, if you're in Alaska, you could have white. If you're going to be in the snow, just depends. So that was YG03. Then I'm going to take um, E23. And continue on. Oh, got. Let's see who's on. Let's see. Oh, hi, Dawn. How are you today? I am doing a trifold card. I wanted to do something with a little bit more wow today. I am for the summer uh, having to change my schedule just a little bit, so I will not be doing lives um, on Sunday afternoons anymore. Um, I'm going to try and still do my Thursday afternoons, or not or afternoons, my evenings, my Thursday evenings. So I'm dropping down to my Thursday evenings. And then I'm going to figure out, like sporadically, just come on sporadically throughout the week if there's a day that I'm at home. Because my schedule has really changed for the summer. Uh, I, one day a week I'm still working at the university. And then, of course, I have, you know, things with the kids and just some personal commitments this summer that I have to take care of. And so I'm gonna 
drop my Sunday lives for the summer. Uh, and I'll start back up during the um, school year. So I hope you guys understand. So I just wanted something a little, a little bit nicer than I, you know, a little bit more fun. So I thought I'd try fold card. <laughs> I was trying to see he's on. My phone is terrible about um, seeing oh, Michelle Perrins or of the time horrible blue for the Air Force. That's right. Air Force is blue. There's gray ones. Um, oh my gosh. It just kind of, it depends where your duty station is. You know, I was in, like I said, I was in the military. I was in a heavy helicopter unit. Um, I was active duty army guard, active duty army guard. So that means I was full time. And um, at Tybee, Tybee Island. And we used to do flyovers over the ocean. Pure torture, pure torture. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was wonderful. I loved my days. I. Um, I did get out. I wish that I would have stayed in, actually, and um, retired from the military. This is YG67. I wish I would have stayed in, but at the time, I did get out on hardship. And um, yeah, I wish I would have stayed in. I would have still retired at a young age. And uh, I don't know. It was one of my best experiences. I tell my students all the time, it's the only place where I got equal pay, you know, because I'm a, being a woman, that I got equal pay to the men. And I loved my experience. So, okay, so now I'm taking my E51, and I'm just going to go over the whole thing like this, and more over the side. So I can still have, you know, some of my shading. Hope my fingers aren't too much in your way. Now, um, you know, getting into the military, much more difficult. The competition is much more difficult. They want you to have some credit hours and, um, you know, you have to get a, a certain score on your ASVAB. And it's much tougher than people think. And, and really as it should be because you want your military to be educated enough to read manuals. <laughs> and what an honor. What an honor. All right. So there we go with her trousers. And I've already colored her once. See, I colored her in um, a little bit darker trousers there. But uh, that's okay. So now we're going to do her belt. <clears throat> I'm taking G99. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Diane. Hi, Victoria. Hi, Michelle. And Dawn's on. I'm trying to see who all... Oh, Sharon. How are you, Sharon? And Sherry. Sharon and Sherry are on. It's a wonderful Sunday. I have been working um, outside a little bit. So this was my G99. So I'm going to take my YG03 and just kind of pull this out a little bit. Go over and out. And pull out my dark over here. There we go. When I was in, I had to have my um, boots made because my feet were so small. And my hat, my hat especially made because my head was so small. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. And I was at Fort Knox for my basic training. When I got off the um, truck, we had to jump off the truck with our gear and stuff. And the drill sergeant was a drill sergeant that had been in that movie Stripes. It was really quite um, interesting. He was pretty scarred up. He had been in, in a helicopter that he had jumped out of in Vietnam. So it was quite interesting, but he was actually quite nice. <laughs> Just scary looking, but nice. All right, and this is N1. Oh, there we go. N1. She's doing her little buckle. 
but actually the truth is your buckle would be co color covered because you wouldn't want anything shiny if you're um, in your fatigues you don't want anything shiny if you're on the battlefield or something you know some things some things you dress a little differently uh, than what people think Anna her hair wouldn't be quite so long <laughs> But she's so cute such a cute image so i'm just doing the edges and because we're making her camouflage it's okay that we're kind of covering up you know that we're adding the color like this and then going back over and adding in color it's okay it's fine all right and then i just kind of looked because um i have the green on the belt so I want to be careful and not make, you know, have the green too close to that. So I'm going to take my E71 and I'm going to go right in here like that. All right. I remember manuals was so glad when they went electronic trying to keep up with change. Changes was a pain. Absolutely. I uh, used to have to, I did a couple of crazy jobs when I was there. I used to have to um, prepare people for basic training. So I had to teach them how to march. I had to take people to get urine tests every Monday to see if they, you know, pass their urine test. Oh my goodness. And type up the IDs and do all their paperwork during the week. You know, so it was uh, quite interesting. I, like, I did a lot of different jobs. It was very interesting. And then when we would do um, things out in the field and all, because I was really the only woman in my unit, I used to get to stay in a hotel. <laughs> they were worried about my safety. And the guys did not like that. I didn't mind it, but... <laughs> Kind of, it's funny when I look back on it now. Because uh, really, they shouldn't have been so worried, you know. I should be able to protect myself. GO2. And this is a bit lighter, I know. I'm just going to do one and then go in with my G99. And um, kind of go around it a little bit. And I just, I wanted to do that because I want some green in there, but her belt is right there. So I was, I'm trying to be a little careful too. So I'm just kind of blending it with other colors to kind of um, make it look a little bit different. So there is um, a little bit of um, reasoning to what I'm doing. And this is W2. And it, She's uh, got on a t-shirt, so I'm doing it slightly different. And then I'm taking my E23. Now, when I was in basic training, we used to put our, stuff everything up in our hats. You know, all our female supplies and, and um, things that we wanted to take out with us when we had to, like, go marching or anything like that. <laughs> we hid them in our hat. Kind of funny <laughs> but my dad was in the military he was in the Air Force for four years and then he was in the um, Army for 31 years and he served two tours in uh, Vietnam and one tour in Korea when I was l really little and he always came home safe which I was thankful <laughs> well, I hope you guys can see okay I was kind of getting carried away Let's see, uh, Cheryl, hi Cheryl, how are you? Maybe I can, um, let me zoom in a little bit, although I've colored a lot of her. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. All right, so then I'm just kind of going across, pulling this across, and I am trying to avoid the dog tags here. So pull this across, and, and see I'm going back over the, um, colors that I've already colored and that's okay 
So that was my E51, and I'm gonna take my E42, and I'm gonna go back in again, and um, kinda come down, and I'm trying not to do a um, hard line. I'm just trying to um, put shadows in, give her a little bit of dimension here. There we go. I have a friend that always says that uh, she can't stand it when she sees people wear the military pants around the fatigues or whatever. But they're so comfy. They're so comfy. So I do like to wear. I have some that I wear, and I, <laughs> I love them. They're just so comfortable. All right. So let me um, bring her down a little bit. Oh, hi, Gail. How are you? Gail, um, I love following Gail. She does some phenomenal cards. All right, so I'm going to take my E. 51 and I'm gonna just kind of go across like this and then we'll do her hair I know I'm kind of doing it backwards um, should have done her face maybe first but I, I don't know I love the uniform so <laughs> I just kind of did it first I think it's okay there's no no marker police you can do it any way you want any way you want so I'm going to take E43 now, and I'm just going to kind of go across very lightly because I am extremely heavy-handed. So I'm trying to be um, not so heavy-handed, so I'm just kind of going across, and I'm going to right here, and also right in here, and kind of go across like so. There you go. And now we'll put in the colors for her hat. There's always a um, certain um, smell to a uniform. I, I remember whenever I would hug my dad, you know, there was just a certain, um, kind of a certain smell, and every once in a while when I walk by somebody that has that scent, like all your memories come back. I always think that's, um, memories are so strong based on smells. <laughs> All right, and so let's see. Let's put a little green over here. And how about we do one right there? Like that. Now, they actually print up the fabric with the patter pattern on it. Um, it's computer. When I was in, they went to having a computerized pattern. Um, and so the uniforms looked very, actually digitized. They, they did look digitized. I think they look better now than they did. Of course, that's been a long time ago because I'm old. <laughs> so this is E71. I'm just going in every so often. And then I put on a second layer uh, where I feel like there should be a little bit of a shadow on um, inside these. There we go. But there's also a military boy. This is a military girl. And there's a military boy. So, um, there is a one for whoever you want to make a card for. And you could, you could do these any way you want. I'm using YG03. You can do these any way you want. You can make them for Air Force, for Marines, for Army. Or Navy whatever branch of service that you want you do not have to do it just for the the army you can do these any way you want so this is the YG 03 and uh, YG 03 and I'm just looking because look again see I am really really there we go I found it I am really bad about putting the wrong lid when I am coloring on the wrong marker. So, now I'm going to take my E51 and just kind of go across. And yes, I'm going across the colors, kind of moot them down that way. Then back over the sides again. And we've already done that once, but I'm going over it again. I often go over my cards after I've colored them to get a certain look. Okay, so there she is. There she is so far. Okay, now let's do her face. 
Um, I agree when you on the smells. Nothing better than the smell of a mom and dad. <laughs> uh, usually, usually. <laughs> it is true that smells really evoke a response, and we do um, remember people by smells. That is very. It is so true. It is so true. You know, because I always think of my grandmother in. Um, this is E triple zero, and I'm just kind of getting her skin wet. I think of my grandmother and the smell of lemon meringue pie, um, of her kitchen and all. It seemed like she was always in her kitchen baking, and um, and often lemon meringue pie, and she just had a very strong odor of lemon meringue pie. So I do agree that that the odors um, evoke a response. <laughs> uh, goodness. Oh, you know what? I meant to share, and I forgot, to Paper Dolls Inspiration. If anybody um, can share to Paper of course we're almost done now with the coloring, but if anybody can share to Paper Dolls Inspiration, that'd be great. I am really bad about remembering to share. So I'm just going down with my E11, and just kind of going around to the side, and I'm um, trying to be careful because, like I always say, I'm very, very heavy handed. And I um, just have to be careful. Oh, I'm just kind of outlining her a little bit. Then I'm going to take my, wherever it's at, oh, here it is, my R20. And I'm just going to kind of add. And it looks harsh when you first do the blush. But, um, I, I um, blend it in. I do blend it in. So it does look harsh um, when you first do it. But I blend it in and then it, or blend it, you know, kind of blend it out. And that makes a difference. So I'm just going with my E, um, E000, which is my antique white. Okay, I'm just going to go across the face, like so. So across the face, like so. And then I'm going to kind of work, there we go, and bring it out a little bit, blend it out, there we go. And then I'm going to take my um, E01, and I'm going to just do the bridge of her nose over here by her chin, a little bit by her ears, kind of go back again where her hair is. Okay, now we're going to do her arms. There we go. There we go. Now let's do her. Um, let's do her hair, and then we'll do her boots. Let's see if I'm still in range, because sometimes I get. Love how you did the uniform. Oh, thank you, thank you, Gail. <laughs> I really meant to bring my picture. I wanted people to see my picture. I had it posted um, when it was Veterans Day, and everybody's always, oh my gosh, you're so young looking. <laughs> And the crazy things I did, um, you know, because I'm a short, stocky little girl, and I had to be a certain weight. This was a Y33. I used to spend hours in a sauna before I went for my weigh-ins. <laughs> so I would make the weight requirements. And I would uh, do this diet called the Air Force Diet, where I would just eat um, so many carbohydrates a day. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. And then I would take a cup. I would have a cup with me. So after I weighed, I'd go in the bathroom and drink, 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 drink water. Because I would be so dehydrated after being in the sauna for hours. I just think that's all so funny now when I look back. <sighs> of course, now the weight's higher. You can weigh more. <laughs> I just think it's so funny when you want something bad enough, the extremes you'll go to to do it. Okay, so that was Y17, Y15, and Y35. And then I just took a G99 and I did her little hair ribbon like that. Okay, so now let's do her boots. 
which I um, loved my boots. I used to love my boots. They are so comfy. So, so comfy. So I'm going to take W5. And I'm just going to do these straps just very um, lightly. But it's okay if you get it on somewhere because we're going to use this color anyway for our um, kind of our shading and our highlighting. So it's okay. I'm just going to kind of come down mapping out where I want it a little darker. There we go. And then I'm going to take my W. Four. Yeah, I gave my boots when I got out to my sister-in-law who used to um, ride on a motorcycle a lot with my brother. And uh, she loved them for protection for her feet. So that was W4, W2. There we go. Anyway, when we're young, we want to hurry our lives on, and then when we get older, we look back and think, ah, oh, I should have enjoyed that more and stayed longer and, you know, made some different choices. Because I would have still been young when I got out, and I could have still taught at college. <laughs> but we're in a hurry. Always in a hurry. All right. So there's the boots. I'm just kind of going down. All right, so that was W2, and I am going to take my, um, let me see, my W4, my W4, and I'm just going to kind of put a little here on the um, edges, like that, like that. This is such a fun image. Actually, all the paper nest dolls are so fun. So very fun. Lots of great images. And you'll see that they are. Because I said I kind of wanted to tell a story this time. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm, gonna I'm doing kind of a story. I'm just going to take my W0. And just kind of go in here. I do not like, I don't know why, white space. Alright, so here we are. So I have colored her. You see I colored her earlier. And her fatigues are a little bit darker in this one. It's okay. You can um, color them, color these girls and guys any way you want. I see I left off a little smidgen place. And I like to go back in. Sometimes I see where I need to add a little bit more dimension. There we go. So I think she is adorable. All right, so I'm going to show you what I've done. Before um, the live, I colored. I colored her. See? superhero she's uh, patriotic here and what we're gonna do I'm gonna zoom you instead of out in zoom you in is that right so I can show you how I make this card and it, it I wanted it to be a little bit of a story so let me see okay so what I did is I took a piece of paper like this one just like this you know, just a regular piece of paper, and I cut it down to um, nine inches and seven and a half inches. And then I took my scoreboard, see, my scoreboard at three inches. So I took it at three inches, and I scored this. I just used my bone folder, and I scored it. I flipped it over, and I scored it. And then I took it at an angle, just like that, in my um, cutter, and I made a slant, because I want it to fold like that, see? As I took my paper, and I, um, actually I want it to fold like that, let's see. Let me do this right, okay. So I want it to fold. So it's going to be like that. Huh. Yeah, it's going to be like that. So it's going to be like that. Is that right? I had it perfect. Okay, so it's going to be like this. I took my paper, and all I did is... <laughs> I, now, I'm sure there's better ways to do this. But I took my paper, just like this. 
took my paper and I drew a line and then I cut it on my cutter. So I just want to show you how I did it because um, well because that's how I did it. I just wanted to show you how I did it. I didn't have any magic measurements other than I did it seven and a half inches long and nine inches wide because I want it to fit in a um, business envelope like a slim line card so that way and I'm doing it flatter because I wanted it to um, the postage be regular postage this way so you don't have to pay anything extra um, so this glue when you get it it comes with these uh, this long p uh, long um, pin so that you can clean it see it's called a uh, barely art and then um, it has a special end that you put on it so we're gonna use this glue like this all right oh and this paper is this is from a paper pack called um, oh, I think it's called for the boys I had it I'm gonna show it to you yes here it is oh it's called a uh, boyhood this is called boyhood the boyhood stack from um, DCWB the boyhood pack stack and I wanted it because it had um, certain um, pieces in it that's why I wanted it you know what I don't think I'm okay this is gonna be my mint this is this this one right here okay there we go. I'm saying, I don't think I'm putting that together right. And then another thing I did, and this is something Cheryl, Sh not Cheryl, Sharon told me to do, was run a marker. Because I wanted to use my um, paper and not actually add another mat. And I didn't want to add another mat because, oh, because of trying to mail this just regular mail. I don't know about you, but it's very hard for us to do postage. Our post office is not open inside. And so it's very difficult. So I'm going to put this here. And I did the same thing. I just laid it out. And I drew where my slant is at. And then this one is here. And all this paper is coordinated from the boy stack. And I just thought it was perfect, even though this is good girl perfect for what I was doing okay now I really feel like I folded that incorrectly but because really it should come probably from the other direction right <laughs> but that's okay and this will fit in a um, it's gonna fit in a business size envelope okay and I've folded it backwards really I should I would want it this way it's okay we'll just go with it so the very first thing let's put her down all right let's put her down and I hope you can let's see um, what is somebody let me see what people are saying sorry see I have my phone here um, they are so cute hun is there any way you can center the image over so we can see it better and a little closer okay yeah I can bring it closer I was trying to um, There's a lag. I'll stand up and that way I can see what you guys can see. So I'm gonna put her down, put her here. And I wanted this paper because of the um, camouflage background. All right, and so I have my little girl who is, pa and these are women, these are not girls. Women, women. So she is patriotic, see, she is patriotic. And I'm doing these flat because I want it to be able to go in the regular mail. And then we, I've done my sentiments and I'll show you how I did those. So here we go, here's our three women, right? Three women. All right, and then I did my sentiments. And what I did is I used a stencil to um, do these stars. So I just took a stencil 
and I used ink and see I put the stars I added stars so I put women are um, women are so this is a story women are proud all right so I'm gonna and I did the same thing with the marker I um, went around the edge of the paper and I printed on blue paper so I did the same thing, like this. So I put women are proud, All right? They're brave, women are brave. And they are, they are brave. And then I put that they are um, strong. Women are brave and they are strong. And then I put, oh gosh, I hope I haven't lost you guys. And then heroes. Women are heroes. Now I typed these up on my computer. I made them myself on my computer. And so you could, you could use, say, a nurse. You could use any characters you want. See, and here we go. So women are proud. They're brave and strong and they are heroes. I just thought that was so, this would be so nice to send to somebody, um, to somebody you know. I just think it would be a nice card to send somebody you know and customize it with maybe a teacher, a nurse, whomever you want, and add in your superhero. So these are all paper nest dolls. This is Military Girl, and she was just released in May. And um, some of these are really, this one was from 2017, I believe. So you could look through and you could find paper nest dolls that would work to tell a story. And I just thought the trifold card was something different. Now you can uh, make it where it folds um, like this, say like that instead, where you have the shorter on this side. Uh, I've seen people do it where they um, take a die and maybe they have uh, butterflies or shells. They have something on the edge. So just kind of a fun card that you could do and send and put in a business envelope and it doesn't take any extra postage. So there you go. And I think women are all those things. All right, well, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. And like I said, I will not be doing a live next Sunday. I'm going to have to cut down a little bit. I have, um, some personal commitments. Um, so I'm gonna still do try to do Thursday evening, but Sundays I'm just not gonna be able to do. And I'll try to pop on during the week if I have a free moment to do a live during the week, more spontaneous. Um, I actually left some of the DT groups that I was in so that I could concentrate more on the ones uh, that I'm still a part of. Um, and do a little bit more with those companies. I, I kind of had stretched myself too thin. And I think I was becoming a Debbie Downer. Which is a terrible expression. But I want to have fun. And I want you guys to have fun. So anyway. Take care. Have a wonderful Sunday. And I will see you Thursday night. Bye.